Hey everybody, it is Andrea Chalmers here. I am throwing in a surprise for you guys today because so many people have been asking me lately and for good reason uh, because I've been posting a lot about uh, something lately. Uh, it's nothing new in my life, but it's just something that I feel prompted to talk about a lot more. Um, I have for a long time talked about my uh, online business and not so much what my pride and joy is behind my online business. And I'm gonna reveal it to you guys because it is such a big deal, such a big deal, such a big deal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I apologize for the video here. I'm doing, uh, you know, with my hand or whatever. Only person here other than my kids and ooh, that could be a bad video. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to do a quick little demo here on uh, none other than my Kangen water machine. This is my third child, actually fourth, sorry. I'd consider my cat a child. Um, I love this machine. I love it, I love it, I love it. We've had it for four and a half years. It has completely changed my life, my husband's life. Uh, my kids have only ever known this machine, so they, their lives are how they are because of it. So yeah, I wanted to do a uh, presentation because seriously, I've had so many people ask me in the past like, Oh, month, I guess, since I've actually been like talking about it more versus my business. Um, the reason I have been talking about it a lot more is because I've been feeling very prompted lately uh, to actually start sharing more about the benefits of it. And um, for a good reason, because more than ever, we need to, as a society, be taking a closer look at uh, the carbon imprint, carbon footprint that we're leaving um, as individuals, as families, and uh, really getting to know what is inside our water, what we're actually, what kind of waste we're producing that we actually don't need to, all those sorts of things. I don't want to get into anything too, too technical with this. Um, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dentist. I'm a mom that gives a that gives a shit about my kids and the planet and the future of it and all of that cool, fun stuff. So. Um, I'll do a cool, quick little background of this water machine. Um, so this water, uh, where am I going to start here? Go to this lighting, it's a little bit better. Uh, if you ever heard of the Hansa people, the Hansa people lived in the Himalayan, uh, up in the mountains, and they had a life expect expectancy of about 120 to 140 years. Now, over the past while, uh, there's been a lot of research into why these people lived as long as they did, why they were as healthy as they were, and it actually came down to the water that they, um, the glacier-fed water that they were drinking uh, throughout their whole lives that was causing this uh, longevity inside an entire community. Um, so there's a few things that the water actually had that um, research now has been able to identify and up until recently um, wasn't being, wasn't able to be recreated until um, as of about 40 years ago now when these King and Water machines first came out. Now they're be like blowing up like crazy. The more that people know about it, the faster it's spreading. And it's so amazing because we have this huge opportunity to change everything. So what is in this water that makes it so different? Well, so when they started doing research on uh, what, these Han what the Hansa people were drinking, they found a few properties that were inside the water that isn't, that isn't necessarily inside any other waters in the world, um, except for even still today, you can find a few of these um, uh, special miracle waters in places like Lourdes, France. Uh, there's a place in Mexico. And I wrote it down here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, not important. I will maybe write a post with this video as well for all the stuff I'm going to forget because that's what happens. Anyways, so one of the major things that they found inside the water um, was it was micro clustered. And if you don't know what uh, the difference between regular water and micro clustered water is, I'm just going to paint a quick little picture for you. Say you were standing at a chain link fence and you were throwing baseballs at it. How many baseballs do you think would go through? Not very many. Uh, maybe like one in every 10 times you threw it. Now think about if you threw a bunch of golf balls at the chain link fence, you'd probably get majority of them through. Now that is exactly what um, 
uh, microclustered water is. Uh, regular water has regular clusters, about 20 um, clusters, like it's about 20 clusters in it. And the micro clusters are bro is broken down to about a fifth. So it's highly absorbable, highly, highly, highly absorbable. Um, and so that's what they found in what they, they were drinking that was causing them to live for so long. As well as they also found that there was this uh, hydrogen that was inside the water, which was, was creating... Um, it was super high hydrogen that was uh, creating um, th an antioxidant in the water. Antioxidant obviously is age reversal. So when you talk about like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, a lot of them have antioxidants and can cause like the body to become alkaline versus being acidic. Our bodies are mostly acidic because pretty much everything we eat, drink, um, is acidic unless you are consuming um, waters that have a higher pH than 7.0 pH level. Um, yeah, 7.0 is, is considered like the baseline and then most, most tap waters and all of that are far below that pH level. It, they're in the acidic, they are acidic and even I think green tea is something that sits around the 7.0 level as well. The, the, these machines here, they um, they go all the way up to 11.5, but we'll get into that in a couple minutes here. I'm sorry, I don't wanna get too off topic. Um, so yeah, so these waters were microclustered. They were high in hydrogen with these extra electrons that were causing the antioxidants that was uh, delaying the aging process. And that's um, what was what was causing these people to, to live these long, great, amazing lives of health and and then passing away at 120 to 140 years. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know if we all want to live that long. But if we're doing good, why not, right? Um, so, yeah, like I said, there's still places in um, the world where you can find this type of water. Um, uh, I'll write it down in the notes. There's, I think there's five or six of places that um, people are go still go to today that they consider like a miracle water. And for good reason. And uh, so... That's kind of the background of it. So there was a lot of research done by the Russians when they were looking into the Hunza people in regards to um, the water, trying to kind of like figure out what was in the water that was causing them to drink so much. It's like, there must be something in the water. Uh, <laughs> and then the Japanese actually kind of took it over, took it to the next level and was able to create a machine that almost completely replicates it. And again, I'll show you the machine here. The Kangen water machine will even turn it on here. Press these buttons here. You can see that it makes a bunch of different waters. We got 7.0, 9.5, 6.0, 9.0, 2.5, 8.5. And actually this 2.5 button right here also creates another water that is 11.5. So I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about what each water does because that is what people need to know. Uh, there's water, like people think of these water machines as just like healthy drinking water and it's so far beyond that. There's um, so many different benefits to it. Now, let's start with the most common one. I'm going to put right here, the Kangen Water 9.5. That one is high in antioxidants. It's the main one that people drink majority of the time when they have the machine. Sorry, it shut off here. Um, the Kangen Water 9.5 is the main water that you would drink um, on a daily basis, uh, provided that you're not taking prescriptions or anything like that, then we would recommend drinking the clean water. So 9.5 is actually, um, the entire machine for one, before I get into the 9.5, removes things like chlorine, fluoride, all of that yucky, yucky stuff that's inside our waters from um, the chemical processing plants. Um, what happens with our water systems a lot of the time is we'll get really disgusting things inside of our water like pharmaceuticals um bunch of toxins things like that we're flushing like flushing down like chemicals and stuff like that that's all going back into our environment and um, these water plants do their best to try to eliminate these toxins and chemicals and all this gross stuff pesticides everything like that um and they they fill the the water up with chlorine 
fluoride, radium, uh, sometimes you'll see other things in it like ammonia, uh, depending where you where you live, just stuff that's obviously not good. Like ammonia is set to like neutralize the water if where you live, um, your water is acidic. And like who wants ammonia? Like inside their bodies, it's disgusting. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, these, these machines, completely rid that. Um, if you've heard of reverse osmosis, uh, a lot of people are really into that right now. Um, that will take away the fluoride and the chlorine and stuff like that, but it's also taking away very vital uh, minerals that we should be consuming. And that's the really cool thing about this machine too, is because it does not take away the minerals, it actually adds more to it. Um, making it the best water in the world. I think I didn't mention this before, but um, we'll kind of backtrack a bit here. I totally didn't plan this video, but I really want you guys to watch it. So, um, so yeah, once this machine was actually made about 40 years ago, the um, what is equivalent to the FDA in Japan actually certified this as a uh, medical device and can they can actually be found in the majority of hospitals inside Japan. Um, if you know anything about Japan, they are been ranked at the number one for health and longevity over the past, I don't even know how many years, I think this past couple of years, Moscow maybe took over to, to number one and they're number two now, but regardless, uh, if they are number one or number two, doesn't matter to me, and their um, FDA is saying this stuff is good and it's healthy and we should be drinking it and nothing else, then I'm going to agree with them because if you look where the United States is and where Canada is on the rankings, they're nowhere close to it. So that is one huge point right there. Anyway, so... We talked about the 9.5 water. The 9.5 is full of antioxidants. It helps to lose weight. It helps with lubricating your body, your cells, um, cleaning everything of any like toxicity, like the toxicity, acidosis, all of the things. Our bodies become over time very acidic from all of the stuff that we're consuming we're told to drink water every day we're drinking water that's acidic whether it's from filtered water bottled water tap water hose water whatever water you're drinking chance, good chances are it is acidic um if you're buying those alkaline water uh, bottles from the store that's saying the water is alkaline that's actually a chemical additive to make it alkaline no water that's been sitting in a bottle is live water. That all, Everything like that, reverse osmosis, any type of bottled water, alkaline bottled water that's been bottled for more than 24 hours, 48 hours, that's all dead water. It's You're just consuming acidic water. Um, but enough about that. <laughs> so, yeah, the 9.5, it's um, huge for, like... Um, Clean, clearing out like metabolic waste. Our organs, our vital organs need to be alkaline. Like where, where disease comes from is from being, living in an acidic state. If you think of grapes, um, like a grape, a nice plump grape. I don't have any here. I have some tomatoes that we could like, I could show you. Um, but anyways, sorry, I thought my kid was screaming. No, it's the birds chirping. Anyways. Uh, so you think about a, uh, a grape and then you think about how it um, decomposes down, um, oxidizes into a raisin. And that's exactly what happens to us over the years. Basically, we shrivel all up and stuff um, as we get older. And that's just a pro process of us um, oxidizing, aging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this uh, 9.5 water actually can start to reverse and slow down that whole process. So it's really awesome. Um, people that are like super into like looking young and fresh and clean and stuff like that, you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money um, on Botox and whatever. If you want to, by all means, go ahead. But um, yeah, it's definitely not necessary when you have the right stuff going into your body. Um, so before we go on to the next one here, I'll show it to you. This one 
is my favorite one, the 7.0. And the reason why it is my favorite one is because my kids were bottle fed from day one formula. Um, they, I did not breastfeed. My kids have been so freaking healthy. Um, I have my daughter, she just turned two years old and then I have a four month old. And yeah, both of them have been on formula since day one um, for personal reasons. And they are so healthy. And I'm not going to say it's just the water alone, but um, comparing from some cir circumstances of other children and stuff like that, my kids have never had any sort of like acne outbreaks, allergies. Um, my daughter caught a cold once. Like my kids are healthy, 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 healthy. Uh, I love that water because it's, it's, I know that my kids are consuming something that's very healthy for them. I being a responsible parent by giving them what they need. And then uh, when your kids actually start to transition into food like my daughter did about a year ago, you know that she's absorbing the nutrients because this water is micro clustered. She can actually absorb all the stuff that she really needs inside of her foods and, and the formula and everything, right? It's just, um, it's just it's a reassurance of knowing that I am, um, <clears throat> really taking into consideration my kids' health. And I could never see myself ever, ever, ever giving them water unless it was like an absolute needed to, we weren't near our machine. Um, but this is like the go-to, nothing else matters, this is it. So that clean water, that is recommended for kids, babies, kids, um, people that are taking prescriptions. If you take a prescription in the morning, it's recommended to take the 7.0 water versus the 9.5 because of the antioxidants. You don't want anything to overpower your prescription if you are taking prescriptions. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the 7.0 is basically like what the perfect tap water would be. Um, it takes out all of the stuff you don't want, keeps all the things in that you do want and, and it's perfect. It's good to go. Um, let me show you here what else there is. So we got 6.0 here, if you can see it. So I'll move my finger and my face out of the way, right there. 6.0, 6.0 is an amazing water. It is, you got a, I got a spray bottle here. I don't think it's it though. Uh, you use your spray bottle and you can use it as a face toner. You can use it as, uh, people use it as like a leave-in conditioner for their hair. It's very, it absorbs, like it absorbs right into your skin. I would say the main thing that people use it for though is for a skin toner. Like you don't need to buy any more skin toners. Don't waste your money on it. Nothing is more pure, more potent and better for your skin than 6.0 beauty water. Um, I'm gonna kind of leave it at that there. I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the other ones here. Um, the 9.0 and the 8.5, those are more for cooking with. Um, let's see if we can get the light on here so you can see it a little bit more. I'm not gonna get into those too much because it's pretty self-explanatory. The ones that are really exciting though is the 2.5 water and the 11.5. Now, the 11.5 is what we use to actually um, take off pesticides off of to take pesticides off of vegetables and fruits and all of that kind of stuff. Even if they're organic, they're still pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, all of that cool, fun stuff. I am going to show you guys a quick video here. I'm gonna see if we can just do it right here. So I got a couple tomatoes here, if you can see. I'm gonna put some, there's no water in either one of these. I'm gonna turn on the Kangen water machine. Dun, 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 dun. So we've got the acidic water coming out. We're gonna start getting the 11.5 water coming out here. I am going to put some tomatoes in here and I'm gonna put some tomatoes in here. These came straight from the store. And so let's start here. We'll start with putting the 11.5 in. I'm gonna let these sit for a minute. Got that there, I'm gonna shut that off. And then I'm gonna use the tap water. So when most people clean their water, they use tap water to clean the vegetable box. So we got these two here. I'm gonna kinda just shake it up a bit. Oh, just so we can kinda 
that's the tap water, the one with my hands in. This one is the 11.5 water that we use to clean our fruits and vegetables. Now, I'm going to quickly pull these out into, oh my goodness, I totally didn't pre-plan how I'm going to do this. Um, bear with me one second here as we take these out and I'm gonna leave the water in. So, I'm gonna show you right here. This is the tap water one. So, take these out. I know there's probably a better way to do this, but, you know, for the purposes. So, that is the tap water cleaning. And this is the 11.5 water where we're taking all the pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, all of that kind of stuff. Look at this. Look at the difference for that alone this is this machine is a must in every household because this is what you're consuming when you have fruits and vegetables this is what you're consuming the reason why these pesticides and stuff do not come off of your water or come off when you use your tap water is because when farmers are using their what they when they have their crops or whatever they're using pesticides that are um, oil resistant. They like when the water, when it rains, they don't want their, um, all the money they spent on pesticides to come off. So these things are meant to stay. So when you use your tap water, it doesn't come off. It's meant to stay there. They don't want it to come off and you're eating that. This is what you're eating. This is what pesticides, that's what's on there. Like it's disgusting. It should be alarming to everybody. Um, if you're feeding your kids like fruits and vegetables, yes, they're getting nutrients from the fruits and vegetables, but they're also consuming toxic stuff that's like meant to repel insects. And um, we don't even need to get into it. It's dangerous. It's disgusting. And this is what, this is the normal, like the normal. It's sick. <laughs> and to top it off, think of how your food tastes. You, people probably don't even know unless they're growing the stuff in the backyard themselves and not putting anything on it whatsoever. They have no idea how amazing these things all taste when they're not full of chemicals and disgustingness. So, <laughs> anyways, I really wanted to show you guys that one. Um, I do have a couple other demos that I am gonna show you guys, but I'm not gonna do it in this video because I see it's already about 20 minutes long. Um, so I showed you guys here, this is the 11.5 water. This removes oils. This is great for a cleaner. We use it on our oven. We use it for pretty much everything. We've replaced pretty much every single cleaner in our house over the past four years. I don't even know how much money we've saved, but we don't need it. It's, it's just awesome. The one other thing I want to talk to you guys about before I do get off of here, because I am just 100% kids kids family like this is why it's so important to me and why I actually wanted to share this video um, the 2.5 water is an antibacterial it kills 99.9% .9 of any bacteria toxins whatever they use this in almost every single Japanese hospital as a disinfectant and I use it in my household I use it for my kids I use it for cleaning up stuff that I last thing I want is my kids going up onto the counter and doing weird stuff like licking the counter. If you have kids, this happens, it's a thing. They do weird stuff. My kid eats off the floor, my kid eats off the counter, my kid eats off herself. It's just weird, 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 weird. <laughs> and if I was using chemicals like Clorox and stuff like that, that my kid would be consuming it. It's disgusting. It goes into your hands as you're cleaning. This stuff is uh, 2.5 water, it's drinkable. You can, it's 100% safe. Um, there's a ton of ton of things you can use for it. I'm just gonna touch on just the cleaning stuff in general, in general. And I, I'm i just saying that because I could go on for a list forever about this stuff. And like I said, I am going to try to post on this video um, more of the benefits of all of these waters just because I'm not gonna get into it with all of the videos here or inside this video here. This again was just like kind of winging it presentation so you guys could see. Um, but these water machines, they are freaking amazing. And most people nowadays have heard of them. It's becoming a household item. It's amazing. And since 
We got ours about four and a half years ago. I have seen thousands and thousands of people get these machines and it's just changing their lives. And what's so great about this is this eliminates these bad boys right here, eliminates not only just bottled water, that like, if you wanna get into that, it's disgusting. There's about 68 billion bottles of water that are tossed out every single year. Like we are just in this, era where we're actually transitioning now but just this overconsumption waste and just just wholly destroying our planet it's just we're becoming more mindful now but like we were really you know shitting the bed for a long time with the, our overconsumption of hazardous stuff that is just not necessary um let alone the plastics that you don't need to buy with from cleaners and stuff like that. You're not pouring that kind of crap into the water system again. You're not putting it back into the environment. You're using just waters. It's just, this stuff is just freaking amazing. And it's dirt cheap. This machine is dirt cheap. I live in Canada. This is the top of the line machine. There is another machine. Um, it's got a couple less plates inside of it. Inside of here is actually titanium plates. It actually, the water goes through a system, an electrolysis system that actually puts energy into the water um, and creates all of this crazy magic. <laughs> but anyways, this machine, the top of the line machine can run you in financing between 125 bucks a month. It's insane. Think of all the things that replaces just with those waters alone. Um, if you're in the States, it's a little bit cheaper. If you want to get the uh, level down, it still has all the waters. Uh, just not as many plates in it and I think you, it runs about $80 a month like how how could you not how could you not have this in your home how if you have kids especially if you care about your health um, future diseases you have any sort of illnesses like you're helping your body repair itself like we are like machines we're machines that are meant to like heal ourselves but if we are constantly putting acidic stuff in our bodies uh, we're not giving ourselves a fighting chance like we are just throwing ourselves right take all the prescriptions you want it doesn't matter but if you're not putting alkaline water into your body putting uh, it into a neutral state where it can actually fight for itself we're meant to fight for ourselves then like you know you're screwed <laughs> unless the medications work for you but then again it's usually in turn um causing some other prolonged issue down the road so I want to leave you guys at that it this is just it's so important this is why I have been talking about it a lot more lately is just seeing what's going on with our planet in like the over the past so many years now um and now that I'm a mom just I want to be able to make an impact on the world um every machine that somebody puts inside their house can save thousands and thousands of wasted plastics and chemicals and all of that kind of stuff that is going into the environment it's we all need to take a, a stand we all need to be very mindful of what we're leaving behind for our kids if you don't have kids you got to think about for your your brothers and sisters your friends kids like all of that like we can't just be living for today we need to be thinking about the future and not everybody cares so much about their health um and that's totally one thing like but when we're talking about all these crazy chemicals, people have it implanted in their head that if they want something clean, they have to use a chemical. And that is just blows my mind because it's so wrong, so wrong. Like I will do some more videos here to show you just how powerful this cleaning stuff is. Um, I will do a better video. Maybe I'll get somebody to, you know, hold the camera for me but i appreciate anybody who sat here and listened for the 28 minutes if you sat here for 28 minutes you better be messaging me for more info about this stuff because now that you know what these machines do if you didn't know about it before it is your duty to put one of these in your household for 80 to 100 bucks a month like it is totally worth it like yeah anyways i'm gonna leave you guys at that and yeah thank you so much for watching the video